my career, which I'll get to speak to tonight, involves independent spirit and um, passion to tell human stories. I mean, that is how I was raised. When she said, I want to be an actress, I said, no, don't be an actress, be a doctor, a lawyer, be, be, be a leper missionary, be a housewife, be anything. Don't be an actor, honey, please. It's too intangible. Don't do it. They'll judge if you're too fat, if your butt sticks out, this, that, don't do it. The stories I have been lucky enough to be part of and the filmmakers and actors I have been privileged to work with, I feel like were predestined because of the parents I was raised by. So with such sincerity, I, uh, I owe that passion to them. Amazingly, I've never come without one of my parents. Uh, both as a nominee and as a, a child supporting them. So it is very uh, beautiful to share the history of film and the Academy uh, along with my family. be in a studio where you look down the corridor and you see Chewbacca, you, your, your mind melts and you feel like you're at play. Um, and I think every day was extraordinary. I was one of the lucky few who was raised by an actress. Uh, and a godmother who's an actress, and a father who's an actor. So I was told all the stories, so I knew with eyes wide open what should be unacceptable. And it was still terrifying, and I still got bullied, and still experienced trauma. So, you know, if, if, if I have the best version, then there's a lot of work to do. And so hopefully as we move forward, more and more will shift, and there will be uh, zero tolerance for unconscionable behavior for abusive power to not only women but to men as well in our industry and others.
to seemingly play the villain and then him give me like truly maybe the greatest monologue I've ever been able to say. And she's also right and will also win. And it's also ugly. It really speaks to the business of, uh, of divorce, if you will. Um, so I, I feel very privileged.